Welcome to the vCloud Automation Center demo, Managing and Updating Application Deployments. During this demo, we are going to show you how the vCloud Automation Center Application Director can update the configuration of a deployed application and promote that configuration change across other deployments. First, we are going to look at the vCloud Automation Center to cover an overview of application deployments and the options for making configuration changes. Then we will follow with a demonstration of making a port change in an active deployment followed by promoting that change to other active deployments. In prior videos we demonstrated how to configure application blueprints. Application blueprints allow you to logically model an application once that can then be deployed anywhere. This capability allows you to ensure consistency across deployments. Once applications are deployed, you can manage and update them. You can make changes such as changing configuration parameters, scale outs as load increases, or scale in when demand is reduced. Each change is captured in an update profile that you can then promote and make available to other deployments. Again, this ensures consistency for initial deployments and for future changes across all of your deployed applications. So we're going to demonstrate how to update an existing application deployment in a previous video, we've seen how easy it is for a user to go into the self-service catalog and deploy a new application that was published from the application services within vCloud Automation Center. So what we're going to do today is we're going to actually leverage one of those existing deployments and show you how to achieve an update of an existing application. So we're going to log in as Connie. The group that we're concerned with is the Nephosoft QE group. And Connie is a deployer, and obviously she's been able to deploy a number of applications. But what's occurred is that the, um, the database team has determined that the port of the database for any existing applications needs to be changed. So Connie can log into and look at her existing deployments. And in her existing deployments, she has a lot of information available to her about that deployment. One, she has the task details, which shows you exactly what time and date this particular deployment was executed. How long did it take? This particular deployment it took about 10 minutes when I look down here at this piece. I can see which VMs were actually spun up and associated with this particular application. So this cluster Duke's bank application is a three-tier application with a load balancer, an application server, and a database. I can reference the blueprint from this deployment screen to show exactly what um, what systems were deployed, what properties were associated with them, if that was a database, did I do any custom disk layout um, for the application server, what particular properties were set and their values for this particular deployment. I can also quickly view that deployment's execution plan. So I can easily see what happened for each of those different stages within the deployment. Now within this view I have my operation screen, my pull down, which allows me to do a number of actions against this deployment. Future videos will discuss um, teardown, compliance, and policy scanning. We're going to focus on the update screen. So when I choose update, I have the ability to basically create a new update profile. An update profile, as mentioned previously, allow me to basically save my configuration change whether it's a config change, a scale out, or a scale in, and actually use that and promote that. You can see this available promoted updates. If there were any update profiles that a user had created that wanted they wanted to make available to any other application of this type within the different deployment environments, they could have promoted that. And I'll show you that process in a minute. So as I mentioned, we're focused on updating the database. 
So when I look at the update type, the dialog that pops up allows me to choose whether it's configuration, and configuration changes could be the changing of an attribute or a value. They could be also the changing of the content for the code. So if I was updating the uh, application server custom Java code, I could choose this configuration type. We have scale in and we have scale out. Obviously, scale out is adding additional nodes to one of the tiers that were defined as a cluster. Scaling in is basically bringing those or bringing those additionally added VMs or uh, nodes in the cluster back. So if I initially scaled out to three nodes, I could scale back into two nodes or one node. So we're going to choose configuration, and we're going to call this. database port update So similar to the similar to the creating of a deployment profile, what you're doing within this update profile is you are basically have the ability to update any of the attributes or values that were defined as overridable at deployment. So again, as I mentioned, we were focused on um, the MySQL server. And we can see here I've got my database port value which is currently set for 3306 I am going to update that to 3307 now based on that configuration change the attribute and the dependencies of other nodes in the in the application blueprint I can see that the execution plan was automatically generated to update not just the MySQL database but also to update any of the values that um, are required or dependent on that so as an example the duck the Duke's Bank app custom Java code needs to understand what the new database port is going to be so that can it can effectively connect to the database I can move into the review phase and look at all of the changes so when I look at the blueprint I can see what value is going to change within the properties field. I can see that I'm changing this database port. And the purple shows me what is actually impacted. So what values within that application server need to be updated based on that property value. So what I can see here is that I have linked in my blueprint this database port property value to the database node, the MySQL service, the database port value. So application, the application services within vCloud Automation Center automatically understands what values need to be updated. Now I can choose to update this deployment. <clears throat> so while this is updating, I can go back to my execution plan and check the status as the execution plan kicks off. So I can see that my update was successful of that new database port. I can go in and look and validate and verify um, the script that was run to execute to do that update on both sides. I can look at the component properties and the values that were set. So I can see here again my database port was set for 3307. And again within the task details I can see exactly how long this particular um, update to this deployment took. And for this active deployment update it only took two minutes. Now as I roll out and do configuration changes or modifications to a given deployment, I can quickly see 
these mileposts. And these mileposts give me all of the information that I talked about before for each of the different stages within a given deployment. So I'll have a complete full running history in the life cycle of this particular application. And I look back at my updates view within the product. I can now see that that update that I did is now an update profile. So I've saved that changing database port based on compliance requirements. Now this is info useful information that I need to provide to the users or other applications that I might have um, deployed actively. And I want to promote this update. So I want to be able to allow those other users to easily choose the available promoted update for a given deployment. So what I have the ability to do is promote this to any of the um, deployment environments that I'm deploying applications into. So once I hit submit, this will now make this, uh, promote, this promotion or this update available. I can look at my other existing deployments and I will notice that these other deployments that are active also have this update available for them. So I can view this particular application see that I've deployed that, see that I've deployed this application. I want to look at the updates view for this particular deployment. It's telling me that I have an update available. I can go into my updates view and I can look at available promoted updates. And I will see that I have the database port update change and I can either choose to apply it for my deployment or discard it. So as you can see, updating existing deployments is extremely easy within the vCloud Automation Center application uh, services product. Users can manage and provide and do light day two life cycle. Their configuration changes as I've mentioned before could be uh, port update changes, they could be other configuration changes that may be required, they could be code updates, they could be scaling out of that infrastructure or they could be scaling in of the infrastructure. All of those changes again are now saved as profiles and those profiles can then be made available to other users or other deployments within the environment for rapid promotion of updates across dev, QE, test, staging, or production. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope that it was informative. To learn more about vCloud Automation Center, there are additional videos available online.